Good day, fellow investors. The Chinese stock market has been hit recently, which means that there could be opportunities to invest in. Today, I'll share with you my comprehensive approach to an analyzing potential investments in China, a Chinese list. But let's first look at what's going on in the stock market. The Shanghai index is down 16.83% year to date, 20% from the top in January, and also 18% since a year ago. So in this video, I'll share with you a list, a list of 19 Chinese stocks traded on US stock market with a short description, price earnings ratio, price to book ratio, also a dividend. And then I also will divide the stocks into several groups that will make it easier for you to find what best fits your portfolio. We'll also discuss how you have to be very careful in approaching investing in China because history has shown that there have been lots of frauds, lots of unfriendly shareholder, unfriendly management to shareholders, a lot of things that you really have to dig deep. But if you dig deep, you can see, you can spot those things and who is frauding you or not telling the complete truth and who is really a genuine Chinese company, if there are any, some might say. So what am I looking for in China at the moment? Key factors to watch, business strength, fundamentals, qualitative factors and those factors that are not obvious to the market. That's what I'm looking for. We'll go through them a little bit deep, deeper. Before we start, such an approach to a market, a sector is something that I constantly do. I constantly take whole big lists of companies, of sectors, and then go one by one, one by one, try to find the one with the best value, margin of safety, management strength, the best business out there because in this ETF index world there are a lot of irrationalities because everybody is buying China. People are not buying certain stocks in China. Most people are just buying the ETF and when there is a crisis, trade wars, whatever, they are selling the ETF, reducing risk exposure to emerging markets and therefore selling all the stocks in China, which the good businesses become cheaper and the bad businesses, unfortunately, go there where their place is. So it's important to differentiate between the good and the bad. I'll also be looking at this short term place. Let's see if we can take advantage of some catalysts coming, but I'm looking really for my model portfolio to find some great crown jewel businesses to put in the portfolio, then cover over the long term, add if necessary, reduce if something changes. So I'm really looking for stocks that I can really follow for a very, very long period of time, including the portfolio and reap business returns over the long term. Not so much movement, short term catalysts, really long term business returns. And that's the only advantage that we have, according to Seth Klarman. That's a, there's a video about it in the card above. How to find those factors that are not obvious to the market? Simply check every stock, read the conference call transcript. What is the management saying? Read the past conference call transcripts, read the annual reports. So when you systematize, see what's the business, what has the potential to be a good business, then you go in depth into finding those really earnings models that lead you to under followed or underpriced securities. The not obvious factors when it comes to analyzing Chinese stocks are growth, cash flows in comparison to earnings. A lot of companies have, I don't know, convertible bonds or IPOs, expenses that skew earnings, but there are many one-off items that simply don't get under the radar of investors. Also growth, confirmation of trend or business. And the key is of course, quality management. So it always starts with a list. Let me explain what is in the list and then you'll, I'll explain how to download it. So on the list, you have the company, the ticker, the exchange, the sector, the business, the price earnings ratio, the price to book value, the dividend, the group to compare to. And there are 90 companies on the list, 97 companies. There is also an OTC list with another 181 companies, but that's my second step. Let me first look at this regularly traded listed companies, and then I'll go to over the counter market. Also something fun, but you never know what you can find. There will be a lot of frauds or illiquid companies there, but that's a different story. Also what I did, I have divided the list by the following categories to make things easier to compare. And airlines, two stocks, China hustle, watch the movie if you haven't, alleged fraud and fishy things there, five stocks, declining stocks, one education sector, eight stocks there, games a little bit interconnected with growth stocks, government owned growth stocks, growth height capex, holding insurance, liquidation, loss making, 
market leader pharma, recent IPO, 11 stocks, regulatory bet, and sta a few stable business growth stocks. And there are all others include P2P lending that I didn't touch because I have already analyzed the whole sector. So how to download, you go to any of my YouTube videos, you scroll down to the description, click show more of course, scroll down to my stock market research platform link and then you also see what I do and perhaps you're interested if you want someone doing the work for you. When you get there, just scroll down, scroll down until you get to my curriculum and there, there are some things you can see but there are some things you can really see. There is the YouTube video stock analysis comparative table with the stocks that we started analyzing on this YouTube channel. Click down when it opens and then you have China stocks here, traded listings and then you scroll down you can watch this the Jiangsu Expressway stock analysis if you wish and here you have the preview China stock list data and general description what was updated yesterday click here and here you have the China complete list of stocks to download for your use. I have made here just a disclaimer so that this is not you can just delete this and then you have the table of list with the comments what is what where it comes from the price earnings ratio price to book ratio also the dividend yields and the group to which is compared what's going on so i think this will really help you if you're starting with chinese exposure or if you're looking for new chinese exposure i didn't go into the otc traded stocks yet but that's something that i will do next let's first finish all the listed companies so this is not the complete list, please download it, check it out, put in the comments if I have missed something, if it is a stock, please be it with a market cap above 100 million, because those small shady Chinese companies, anything can be there and you cannot know what is the reality there if you're not the CEO. So let's simply avoid that in order to save time and find better investments, even if those might be extremely profitable. Thank you for watching. The next videos will be already about 10 growth stock companies. I'll show you my growth models, how I insert the growth to give me a fair price at what I would buy the company. And then we'll go through 10 stocks to see whether those are undervalued or overvalued in relation to past growth, current growth and potential future growth. Thank you for watching. Looking forward to your comments and I'll see you in the next video.